It's hard to believe that we're just a couple of days from spring. It's uh, so cold out here. It's a lot cooler than I expected because the uh, weather network said it was four degrees or a minus four rather and it feels more like, like minus 20 with the wind factored in. Oh well, it's still nice and sunny. Someone is out on the lake walking a couple of dogs. That's Angel Lake. I'm not going out there though. I mean, it's cold enough in the bush. I imagine the uh, wind out there is brutal. And there's an ATV out on the ice. I can't uh, keep my hand out of my glove for very long to take pictures because it gets too cold. My fingers are frozen. I put my glove on and I managed to get the camera turned on so <laughs> I will uh, be able to film a little bit of the walk today. This uh, route along uh, the other side of Angel Lake to where I usually walk. There's um, a little river that goes into the lake and uh, there's a beaver that uh, lives in that river. I've uh, shown it before in, I think in videos. Anyway, uh, so I've uh, come from the back of my house down to that river and crossed over the river because it's all frozen. That's safe. There's a uh, little tiny bridge there that's all under snow right now, but I know where it is, so I was safe walking across that section. It's very short, no more than a couple of meters. And that takes me over here to the other side of Angel Lake without having to cross the lake. And uh, part of this bush is really pretty, and another part is kind of not as nice looking. We're getting up to the part that's not so pleasant. So I'll uh, turn off the camera for now. Well, I dare not take off my gloves for more than a couple of minutes because it just really is far too cold. Uh, it's the wind, really. I don't think it was as... Um, I think the temperature was higher yesterday when I was out walking, but I didn't feel cold at all. And... Uh, I think that was just the wind factor. Gotta watch where I'm walking here. If you get even one foot off the trail where people have been walking, uh, you sink down in over your boot, so. It's not very pleasant. Something smells weird out here. I don't know what it is. It's a big marshy area over there. I decided to take this trail today because uh, it was the time of day that I've met up with this one dog on the trail twice on the other side of uh, Angel Lake. And uh, the dog owner hasn't got the dog properly leashed or trained. 
and the dog ran into my leg so one day and the second day that I met it I I uh, told the owner that I wanted his dog to stay away from my legs so the owner did uh, grab hold of the collar of the dog that day but uh, unruly dogs on the trail I do not like and I would try to uh, avoid them when I can so I'm over here. I like this trail. It's kind of narrow in spots, but it's uh, it's not packed down by snowmobiles, so it is much narrower, which is not a problem. I I don't mind that, and it does stay away from the dogs. <laughs> I'm not seeing any footprints of any kind of animal in here, other than rabbits and squirrels. So. Uh, I don't think people walk their dogs in here. I'm coming up close to the uh, snowmobile trail. And uh, I'll walk a little ways up there. I uh, saw a raven chasing a hawk. And uh, he was making a lot of squawking noise. I didn't uh, get any video of it, unfortunately. I don't know if they'll fly over ahead again. So here we are, snowmobile trail. And I've been along that before. Um, that heads back to Mississauga Road, or Mississauga Street. And uh, I'm gonna go this way a bit today. So this is a huge pond off of um, Angel Lake and it actually uh, drains into this river here um, which is flowing down there and in the summertime I can seldom get across here because uh, it's usually the water is too deep. It's all usually flooded but uh, right now it's frozen over and goes into this stream. I hear that raven squealing, so I guess that hawk must be still bothering it to some extent. Look at that massive rock there. This is a nice wide snowmobile trail like the others I walk. Beautiful on a sunny day. This is um, an ATV run, apparently. I see somebody's been walking in here, but I've never, <clears throat> I've never been down here before, so I think I'll take a little look today. There's a pileated woodpecker. The wind isn't nearly so strong in here, so I'm enjoying this a lot more walking through here. And plus I saw that woodpecker and he's pecking away there at the tree. Yeah, it's a nice little walk in here, protected from the wind. It looks like the ATV trail goes in that direction, but the tracks I've been following 
the human tracks are going this way, so I'm going to follow these tracks since I have no idea whether those tracks, the uh, ATV trail is going to sink the snow over top of my boot. So we'll go this way. This looks like a pretty little path here. I am really curious as to where this terminates. Well, I'm really glad that somebody decided to walk this way in the last uh, day or so. Must have been today because it's fresh prints and we had snowfall last night. Um, so, yeah. Otherwise, I would never have come this way if I hadn't seen their prints. I guess you could say I'm a follower, eh? <laughs> this trail really has me curious. And the footprints are not heading in the same direction that I'm heading. They're heading back the other way. So whoever walked on this must have been coming from some area uh, that they survived walking across. I don't know if it was the lake. We'll see. What a pretty trail. I had not thought I was going to go out today because it looked like it was overcast and not that terrific looking and then the sun came out. And, well, of course, the sun always says, hey, come out and play. So I did, but I wasn't planning on staying out very long. And then uh, I come across this trail and of course I'm staying out longer than I expected. And I didn't bring a snack with me. Well, it appears I've come to a winter campsite. Somebody's got a tent there or a structure of some sort and then there's poles over there, so... Huh. Well, what do you know? They're, uh, maybe sleeping here overnight. That's interesting. I guess there's a few people that like to do winter camping. Not me, I don't think. There's a bald eagle up there. Wow. I don't know where this is. It must be some marshy area or lake area that comes off the Angel Lake, but I don't recognize any of this. There's a little dock here. I guess, uh, you know what? There might be some canoeists come in here and uh, camp out at this site in the summertime. I gotta get a kayak. I don't know what happened to the uh, trail that I was following. The human's footprints have disappeared. So I don't know if they got covered by some blowing snow or what's going on, but... Uh, they don't seem to be around here, so... Oh well, that's fine. I have found some place I haven't been before and I always love to do that, so I'll just head on back. Beautiful. I'm uh, running out of battery power on my camera, so... I will be limited on what I'm able to uh, film or photograph. But uh, hey, what a neat little hike today. I love it. <laughs> 